class six students hello uh, welcome again to a new chapter this is going to be lesson number 20 end of school days you will find this on page 116 for all new book users the chapter end of school days is um, adaptation it is an extract a piece of it has been taken out from charles dickens novel david copperfield charles dickens in uh Book khat na siya na, novel khat. I mean, so David Copperfield na kiti e. Oh, at uh, novel min. So, kita ako na sa extract na yaw. Tsaka nung kila doa, i chapter ru, end of school day si, si mahi o. Oh. Uh, but before we go and learn about the chapter, like always, let us first learn about our author, Charles Dickens. So, Charles Dickens was born in the year 1812. He was one of the greatest English novelists of all times. And most of his works uh, with young boys at the center of the narrative depict the lives of deprived class of people. So he would usually talk about young boys and how uh, they belong to the poor family and the difficulties they faced, the hardships they faced in life. So his, most of his novels were based on that. Uh, you will learn about Charles Dickens's works, uh, some of his other works, short uh, stories and uh, no, uh, other narratives in classes 7 and 8 as well. But uh, this is for your class, this is the first. Uh, Charles Dickens also earned uh, a good title of the spokesman of the poor. Spokesman of the poor, spokesman for the poor. Most of his works, like I said, would talk about a lot of the difficulties faced by poor people. His first full novel, The Pitwick Papers, brought him immediate fame. Most of his works, most of his novels, including uh, the, the novel from which uh, we are going to read and uh, extract, David Copperfield, were first serialized in monthly magazines. Amahi, aniya ulaya, so anagena anagen tehe na, amazon, just like any other. Uh, any other story he would portray in his novels. His life also was full of hardships. A pasong hi anatia, but zong tamta anani of family hin alekasim zona continue zolo. So he started working at a very young age, and then anato ho hi amahi atamzo magazine ho ahi ana publish masat natu. So what's all ola hum pauze it say? Oh, amayong hi ahin kotusim him. You will learn about that uh, in your higher classes as well. Now, coming to our chapter, lesson number 20, End of School Days. Now, this is, like I said, an extract from the novel, David Copperfield. David Copperfield, he akona na extract niya, chakat bo, ikihil diw hi in chapter vai. But before that, we need to understand the entire uh, summary of David Copperfield. Na, a novel chihet masat ngay so that we will understand the lesson better. David Copperfield he aniaw laya so anuza ano umapazo ano manup na sa sa high school na kaya na mahim alam mo kung sa wahi apa hong ti ay tayo apa hong ti pa na anuza si ito hong kung hong kung mang sa komanta so sa wahi anuhin she remarried she married again so when she was remarried her her stepfather was very mean to him. Okay, he was very mean to him. He would send him off to a boarding school, and even when he came home, he would mistreat the boy. Now, so when he was in boarding school, he his mother also would die. Na apata ata apat his awa to anu in zita neya anu in zita neya to apata apat to his stepfather was very mean to him and then he went to study in a boarding school wherein he hears about his mother's death and when he comes back home to his stepfather his stepfather is very mean to him his stepfather again remarries and then he mistreats him. And therefore, he is taken in by his aunt. Anu anaw na. Anu anaw hin amahi. Ayin ko te, anu apa at hizo wa tu. A stepfather yung sun alung setlo pa na tu. Anu anaw nu. Anu nga anu na. A aunt hin, a auntie hin. Ayin valet ding. Ayin ketopi ding. Ayin lung set de. O ama to sim he he. David ko pa feel hiyo. Alay ka sim na wahin ketopi ding. A auntie zalay humido de he na amahi. Ah. 
financially support ahin balding sumlabay ho ayong ahin kitopi ding ahin ko ayong hi decision making ho ang tampita ahin kitopi de to a isim diu chapter hi hui like a cho hamiti a hi le david copperfield to school ahun kaya school ahin saya ahun do kika a hi aunty hin once you are done with your high school you probably have to consider Uh, your higher studies now what do you want to become in life what do you want to study further hita mang threshold khat nung sun diu hen ho yong na nu te ho yong kon head diu hen metric an sai ho am 12 an sai ham khat ten le graduation an sai ham khat ten le now what do you want to become in life uh, if you have to become a doctor you need to go into the medical field if you want to be an artist you need to study some fine arts ito pang watch of field tampita ama option tampita hum ditai at one point you will only also be very confused it's it among mga to david copper field long he his situation his threshold hum ge ya hita na wherein he has to make a decision a decision of what he wants to become what he would like to do what he would like to be what kind of studies he would like to continue so when he is about to make that decision um his he his aunt his aunt will help him a lot with that and in order to make that decision his aunt suggested that he should travel valele in lang see what the world is doing what is going on in the world and then maybe you'll have a better idea ama hin ahet thailo ta ipika bol dham pika sim dham ti ahet thailo pha na hi a aunt jun suggestion khat a bol chu gam dunga hin tour ho ahin ga chile le langa po do le le la chun then maybe you'll have a better understanding of the world and have a better decision that part is what we are going to learn uh in our chapter today so end of school days uh begins with um our protagonist david na young david he had just finished his school and is very excited to step into the big wide world of adults my adult hum hi aita jana so uh, in this chapter we see that at first he talks about his school days na i was i don't know whether i was glad or sad when my school days ended and i left dr strongs Doctor Strong still Doctor Strong kiti pa hi a professor na hi headmaster na hi eh na school ka in ajo ajo a school ka in dal ha ajo ka kiti pa ham kalung hel ham ipi ham ka kiti head thei poi azi ju school a ka na ka ilay ajo I was very happy I was very happy when I was um, in the school while while I was studying under Doctor Strong I was very fond of the doctor I was very popular in the school and these were the reasons where I what why i was sad to leave the school why was he sad to leave the school because he was happy in the school he was uh, very fond of the doctor dr strong his headmaster and he was also a popular boy in the school these were the three reasons why david copperfield was sad to leave the school in on the other hand he was also happy that he left the school because he was unclear he he was uh, the the unclear ideas of being an independent young man and the importance he had of the wonderful things that he can see and do and the wonderful ways in which he can impress the society all that thing excited him na to he you're going to step into a new world wherein you're going to be an adult there's so many unclear ideas and thoughts of um, being an independent young man what are you going to do now that you're independent uh, what what kind of things should you do to impress the society all that excited him that is why he was also very happy that he had to step into the new world na adal ha adal ha nom lo ipisa adal ha nom lo ham ti ahile school ka ilai to nom na sa cho ki pa zong ki pa a phao zong phao wa popular yong hi a aten le professor headmaster pa yong so anangai cho na ai wanga cho ipisi a cho new world la pa cho thanom ki na ham ti ahile Uh, adult ga hi a icham chama independent ga hi a i mean ose chil a head lo tam ta an head be be ding ti ho ta bang idea ho yong so excited he excited he na si ja chama cho he wanted to venture into his new life uh, the ideas influence uh, my boyish mind so strongly that i left school without much regret he was not sad that he had left school because the idea uh that um, 
being an independent young man and the importance he would have and the wonderful things that he can see and do and the wonderful ways in which he can impress the society all this excited him and therefore uh, he did not leave the school with much regret he again says that uh, he does not remember how he felt about leaving school but he was a bit confused about the beginning of a new life he was a little confused although he was very excited very happy to venture into the new life high school you're like a cocoon you are helped you are taken care of but once you're done with school that is when you have to take care of yourself although he was very excited he was also confused he he knew that uh his adolescent life that means the the time when you are just a young child uh, all that experience he had when he was just a young boy was not enough it was very little and that life was more like a great fairy tale na sapang ni ajo chil tam ta ka he eti am lachun in order to become an adult that might not be enough and that he knew that so his aunt kept asking him questions what would you like to be now that you have finished your school he often asked her that repeated question na vela vela do in so david tell me uh now that you have finished uh, high school what do you want to be now this question was very scary to david copperfield the reason is that uh he did not know what to do he was not sure of it he wanted uh he 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 could become a person to sail a ship but then he did not know how to sail a ship he would travel the world to make a great discovery but then it was uh it might not be a suitable life for him and then uh he wanted all one thing he was sure was that he wanted to do something that wouldn't require uh, her uh wouldn't require his aunt to spend too much of money on him na ipi bolzong leng i don't know what i am supposed to do i don't know what i like i'm not very good at too many things but i'm sure that i do not want to do something that would cost you a lot of money that was what he would usually uh reply to his aunt every time he asked uh, every time uh, she asked him what he wanted to be now his aunt one morning in uh, the christmas season uh his aunt said, uh, says to uh david copperfield that one morning in the christmas season when i left school as this naughty point is still un- unsettled and as we must not make a mistake in our decision it would be better if we give it some time in the meantime you must look at it from a new point of view and not a school boy he says na i ain't in to he now that you have to make a decision you need to make it wisely you, you are no longer a school boy you must make a decision uh, like an adult atitas na and then the aunt suggested that maybe you should visit the old part of the country or maybe you should go to the uh, to 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 the country na you know in tingkang langa ga achi ho to bang country tiu he na william khana ga chi in lang kholin ga po do in lang ga ve in thil ho um dan hi athi he na chi phana chu david said oh i can do that yes i will do that i think that will be the best so he left home okay he left home and he went went to a place now when he left home the aunt uh david's aunt said that uh, you have to promise me one thing before you left home that you will write letter to me three times a week it's hap ta khanai thum wei wei letter nin thot si de na when you go out into the world uh, you should go and learn new things uh you ha- but also remember that you have to be a firm fellow a fine and firm fellow with resolution with determination with strength of character that cannot be influenced except for good reason by anyone or anything atiana 
just like your mother and your father also would have wanted you to be a farm fellow na mi say mana ke kai le le hello ding atang sanga independent heading atang sanga decision a lot heading thil pha bolding strength and aiding Mm, good reason and aiding decision kan ala ding part na na hita bang mi him ni hiding ju ka de he na si sa chu whatever you do try to be that kind of a person na pot do part ten na jun na chang na hiding tan kui manon nan ki hlan pi lo ding chapang cha na hi hi na hi wanga na pot do ding hi tan you have to be a firm fellow you have to be strong you have to be determined na ti ho yo si ha sei pi a hi asol do de he na sumyong tam pi ta a choi sa ding mahin a sumyong api and hug a kola many kisses a bola ji so watu david ko feel he assault the that throat david he assault the that na ati do ahi ama hin agel so david hin agel oh now that i am all alone i am traveling all alone i have to make sure that every i have to pretend like an adult ti lo bhai mi ho hin e noi si diu he na they won't believe that i am an adult uh, they might uh, miss mistake my actions therefore i have to act and pretend as though i am an adult a sensible adult i am a bold food hena not that he is my mata het na yong nilo hena he this is going to be the first time he would be traveling alone but he knew that um, he has to be uh, a character as such that people will not make a fool of him na so he 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 took the money that his aunt gave him and uh, he gave a loving goodbye to his aunt and he left he left with his portmanteau tile a suitcase ake po achi eta so ma he travel balding achi ta na purpose to be ham tile so that he will figure out what to do in his life so so wa he where did he go he was given one month kum sakat ke pe he na an tin sakat dinga hi sumyong api a na chiding na nop nop na na chiding chi zo pha tin sakat zo te no hun ki le ding hap ta khat le thum ve ve letter nin thot zi ding and remember no hun ki le pha ten le na decision la ji pi hi zong le til mi pha na hi gu de na strong willed na hi gu de ti hoi tam ta se ya ke hen hon ta cho cha hi uh the main object like i said the main object on david's mind was to begin uh, he, uh, when he had to begin the journey he had to appear as old as possible as old as possible tile chapang chu alungel za chu me alin ho alungel za chu mai chu na ama chu chapang hi wang alin ho alungel bang bang ka gel ta bol thua ki pan nie ngai na travel a bol a chu so first thing first person he met he met was the coachman chilaya to gari home no we na coach uh, sokol sokol in akai coach ho aku atol khat mzi anunga nang na to ding rickshaw type ko hi in but pulled by horses na ama ama he mu masat pen he ama mu masat pen na ama hin apuya huilaya apui ham tia hi le Uh, I am going to London at TP, he na William he min he coach pen pa he. So William, I'm going to London. I shall go down to Suffolk afterwards. Da he ati na din hua ka asay. So just like an old man, he's pretending to do it na. After that, uh, the coachman took him to the Golden Cross at Charing Cross, uh, and then to an old inn in a crowded neighborhood. Na agi na din mun ka na he. Golden Cross ah, uh, Charing Cross kiti mun ka na he. Golden Cross kiti mun ka na he. Minsa ato in ka na he. Ah, apu ya agat ha he na ama he. Agat ha he le room ka na alut nin. He went to a room. He was taken to a room wherein he had to stay for the night. Ah, uh, his room did did. Don't feel like home. It was very bad. It smelled very bad. Uh, it looked very bad to him. But then, since he was now an adult, he knew that he had to make good use of it. Nam. So he stayed in that room. After which, uh, he he went to the restaurant. Nam. He went to the restaurant wherein. Imagine amuzo si ko imagine he had to pretend to the to be an old person. This restaurant I got to wait that so good. Alin ho bang bang ang gato vinten? So he waiter pa to kaya uhan ang waiter pa hin sa pangbol lah hin bol ko na amah hin numsi lo wait so na. Ito ni what do you what would you like to have? Tiya hile amah yung hin just in order to not pretend that he was a young boy. He 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 said that um what what do you have in mind? What are you going to feed me tonight? 
aga dina ay la waiter pahin uh, i suggest that um, you have chicken or fowl na poultry ni enum da hamda restaurant at aga puya hile phana chu chapang ho in adu num ji ve ati a hile ma hin I'm not a child. Nah, I'm not a young boy. I don't want to have the ve- uh, fowl. Fowl, it's like a chicken, a bird. Hey, nah. I le- and instead of that, I will have a veal. It's not meat. So, he was served a meat with a glass of wine. Although the, gla- the, 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 the glass of wine did not taste too good to him, he still had that meal. And while he was having this conversation with the waiter, he went ahead to ask the waiter if there was a letter waiting for him. Just like an adult would. Adult would say, he thought that if um, he was going to pretend to be like an adult, Probably that is what an adult would say. At the, uh, he asked the waiter if there was a letter waiting under his name. He said his name. But then the waiter came back and said that, no, there is no letter here for you. And I was like, oh, how sad is that? He acted surprised. And then he had that meal in that, uh, in that restaurant. And after which he left, uh, he left and uh, he went to see the theater. Now he went to the Covent Garden Theater, wherein he saw Julius Caesar and a pantom- pantomime. So after watching these two plays, he felt that uh, the the theater was very amusing to him. Now, theater it felt very amusing to him. He saw the lights, he saw the people acting. And he he got a sense of things. Now he felt like, oh, these things are so different, uh, such different scenes. Amahin amu kalo. He has never been uh, to a theater. He was just a high school boy some uh, some days before, and then he now has gone to a theater independently, just like an adult would do. So he found everything to be very exciting and very entertaining. Um. See, pantomime kiti hi. It is a play in which uh, one person mihat si si eh na the whole um, play to chang si ato cha eh ah kat weekend le anuzong at chang amahi ding kat wala pa yung amahi ding abo na to amahi mihat si si eh ato cha eh so kaya wala naman mat mo tanong nung yung eh na David ko pa feel hi so ayos si so wala and then he came out he was very amused and entertained and when he came out it was raining heavily on the streets and uh, he went home from there he enjoyed the lights he enjoyed the poetry he enjoyed the music the company the lights the brilliant scene the dazzling and endlessly delightful play so at midnight when he came out it was raining and he felt as if he had come from a fantastic place where he had been living an in- adventurous life to a nosy poor lit muddy and miserable world theater songa so na no masa wali nga ahong do apa da so scene song ke khelta na theater song jala light hong haya scene no za za akoi ziu ya so so si so hin vet na ahong do apa na jale mi ong si go yong na zo apam la hong ge la go yong na zo alam pi hoya na so de du yin mi yo na zo hen hun light zong hoi de lo songa jala light wa set ya apo long hun phana tim leng lung yin so so he he just came to the reality that the inside was all entertaining all very beautiful but when he came out everything was very miserable so that is how he pretends to be an adult in in our chapter that is the end of our lesson end of school days here are five questions please answer these uh, from the context what ideas influenced david's boy's mind to make him leave school without much regret if he's at school adult ha no mam if i'm going to excite na new life also ideas for unclear ideas or you can do whatever you want to now uh, there were so many things that you can see you can do all that thing excited him that is why he did not leave the school without any regret answer to nazi you hena am i independent ahung hi ding partner cha tha nom wala na number 2 to ah if david had the opportunity and means what kind of life might he have considered suitable am sa hi am i an auntie to ado a so what do you want to be in life cha gela hi am i pp gelam tia hi le is also say bang wa cho 
if he had known how to sail a ship and travel the world to make a discover a great discovery he might have considered that a suitable life atija na if he had the opportunity and means but he did not right he did not have the opportunity he was not a sailor he did not know how to sail that is why he did not consider that life but had he known it he would have wanted to be come a he would have um, uh sail the a ship and travel the world question number 3 nahi with what advice did david's aunt send him off to the trip it be advice na bolam and so a pot doding go na so na ki sending hon go na so uh there were a lot of things that the, the two uh the two of them discussed uh you may write uh, the 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 advice that his aunt gave him before setting him off on the trip uh some some advice where to look after himself to think and act for himself and also uh, to promise her that he would write to her three times a week and tell her honestly how he was doing wherever he was so you see the advice of Baldwin number 4 at so what was the main concern on david's mind when he set off his journey main concern to ipi ham ipi gel penam david sun apo do at so majun he had to appear grown up and experienced na he wanted to no matter what happens i have to appear as though i am a grown up as though i am very responsible as I, as though i am very independent so you see to agela uh he set off on his journey now number 5 so how did david feel after the entertainment was over so after the entertainment entertainment he entertainment ham itia he le theater at si at so play ni ga vet so na if i'm play ni ho so julius caesar to pan to me he to tell ni ga vet so va so he felt very entertained and when he came out what did he see he saw that it was raining heavily the streets were all muddy the streets were dimly lit so yo si samu ahile he felt miserable when he came out after the entertainment was over but inside he felt that the entertainment was uh quite amusing he enjoyed the whole scene he enjoyed the lights he enjoyed the people he found it funny he enjoyed his company the lightings the beautiful scenery and all that but when he came out he realized that that was not reality it was just in the theater so all that all his feelings you have to write it with that we have come to, our, to the end chapter number 20 end of school days thank you